I'm Gary Herman with the Alexander County Economic Development Corporation. We're working on our Buy Local campaign. This is the Alexander County Business Spotlight. We're here at Sugarloaf Orchard. They're located at 7415 North Carolina Highway 16 north of Taylorsville. It's my pleasure to have Mr. Bobby Lowe, who is the owner here at Sugarloaf Orchard. And uh, you've, got, you've got a long history here, and uh, we do thank you for letting us come into your business today. And uh, we hope we can help with your business a little bit along the way with this video. So uh, thanks for being, letting us come in here today. Uh, I'd like to talk to you first, uh, talk a little bit about the history of Sugarloaf Orchard. I know it's a family tradition, right? That's correct. Um, me and my brother, we started out a um, uh, partnership back in 67. And, um, and then in, and then we bought this place in 1971, and we've been here ever since. Uh, so uh, it's been quite a while, and my parents, uh, my mother and dad, they worked Orchard all of back in the 40s and 20s. And then my grandfather, he, he was the first alpha girl around here, one of them, and he, he lived, he started out back about the turn of the century, 1900. And uh, of course, he got too old to do it, and then my father took over, and and he worked in 1970, and uh, he passed away. And me and my brother's been carrying it on ever since. I've got two sons; one of them's working in the orchard now. And I've got another younger son who'll probably be coming on to help you. So it is a true family affair here at Sugarloaf Orchard. So that's a, that's a good work environment. Uh, you love the people you work with. So the, that's the great thing here at Sugarloaf Orchard. Um, again, you're located way up here on uh, Highway 16 North. You're pretty close to the Wilkes County line for the folks out there who are watching today. But it's not too far of a drive from Taylorsville and uh, uh, other parts of the county. So we encourage people to come on out. Uh, Bobby, we want to talk a little bit about uh, the size of your orchard and what types of apples and other types of uh, produce that you got here. Well, no, we've got around 50 acres, counting all the what we got leased and everything. We used to have a whole lot more, but we've downsized a lot. Um, we um, we have uh, pink ladies, uh, golden delicious, old timey limber twig. Right now we've got um, low dyes, which is a little early cooking apple. We're gonna start picking ginger gold, which will be one of your first eating apples. And then we'll be into uh, uh, galas, and uh, then from then, red delicious, goldens, all the fall apples, wine saps, and uh, just about any variety you think of, we, we try to grow it. So, and I'm sure they're tasty too. Some fresh, fresh uh, grown apples here. And we'll talk a little bit about how the, the local aspect of uh, apples and other items that you offer here in just a little bit. Um, so you kind of spoke a little bit about the timing of the apples because I know that's always been a question for me is what kind of apple is in season right now? So uh, you said low dye is currently, uh, and this being filmed in, uh, um, what is this month, July? So uh, anyway, so as we go on, you'll be going into the uh, ginger gold and the galas and then the red delicious and but you grow about everything. So uh. everything um, we don't waste well, some varieties we don't have, but uh, we've got about most of the main varieties that people want. And we planted a lot of newer trees to come on to take their place of the old trees. Right. And uh, I do notice you have peaches, tomatoes. Uh, you've got a wide assortment of candy in here. And uh, you've even got Lenny's Mill corn meal. You've got beans. Tell us a little bit about everything else that you have to offer here besides uh, the main feature, which is apples. Okay. We keep um, um, flavorings. Uh, Carolina Home, I believe is the name of it. Uh, uh, flavorings. We've got ham and all kinds of ham. And we got all kinds of jams and jellies, and uh, we keep uh, tomatoes and squash and things like that's in season. I usually try to buy some from the 
gardeners around locally and uh, we have all kinds of candy and uh, and things like that and all kinds of peaches yeah. well and so if the parents want to come uh get uh, some apples or some produce you do have some candy for the kiddos and uh, and some soft drinks and things like that but we want the young people to eat as much fruit and vegetables as possible as well uh and that is good that you support our local farmers uh by um using their uh farms uh, now you also mentioned something about the north carolina state farmers market tell us a little bit about that we sell at uh, raleigh at the state farmers market in the retail building and uh, we have peaches apples whatever we got in season uh we have it down there well that's pretty incredible i mean you know we got somebody here from alexander county representing us at the farmers market in raleigh so that's that's awesome um now you, of course this is a family business uh number of employees you've probably got maybe what four or five that's all family members right now we only got uh, the family we'll have to employ some people when it comes to picking but uh, we my son carries on most of the work all the spraying and and mowing and all things like that in the orchard and uh, right now we just have our family employees and there's a lot of work that goes into an orchard, I'm sure. You know, not people just see all the counter sales and things of that, but there's a lot of work that goes in the off season to keep the trees healthy for uh, the growing season. That's for sure. And a lot of expense, too. The chemicals you have to use to spray and fertilizer, and then you have to use weed control to keep uh, weeds from growing up through your trees. It's almost impossible to mow it, so you have to use um, some kind of weed control. So it's a year-round process, though, is what we're saying. Yes, it is. As soon as we get through picking, we start in pruning, and uh, that takes most of the rest of the winter. Time we get the brush out and get out of the orchard and get fertilized, it's time to start spraying again. Well, keeps you busy, I guess. Um, so uh, you do a great job here at Sugarloaf Orchard, and uh, we encourage everyone to come out here and support your business again. You're located at 7415 up here on Highway 16 North. Uh, if, please tell us your phone number and your hours, Bobby. Okay. All right. My phone number is 828-635-7477. And uh, our hours are from 8 to 530. That's simple enough. And one final question. What's your favorite kind of apple? Steam and wine saps my favorite apple. I've always liked them. It's hard to beat that little bit of a tang and uh, the crispness. Uh, I know that's my father's favorite apple also. So uh, I guess you've got a bunch of different flavors for a bunch of different people. you got something for everybody. So we'd like to encourage everyone to stop by Sugarloaf Orchards, 7415 North Carolina Highway 16, north of Taylorsville. If you would like your business featured on the Alexander County Business Spotlight, give me a call, 828-632-1378. Or send me an email, glherman at alexandercountync.gov. Buy local, Alexander County. <laughs>